Yeah, we're gonna get to some back today. Do a little different variation of it. Let me put some beats on real quick so I can um, get my rhythm. A little variation right here. And it's starting with 120 pounds first. Start with 120, and I'm gonna drop it all the way down. Going into these dumbbells. All right, rock with me. down to 100. I know I should have went to a failure on that right there. Failure meaning I couldn't get it back down, but that was my first set. And I don't want to light my joints up like that. Make myself sore later on. Because I went for broke on the first set. Get lit, man. Now we're about to drop the 80. Like them shoulders, them delts, that back rear traps up. Try to spread it as I come down, so more. Kind of was jerking that one. It wasn't correct form. I was jerking that one, but I'm real lit right now. I know I feel what I'm doing. So now we about to go down to 60. 60. I'm gonna display more control in it right here. You can feel the momentum that you're building up. The aesthetic formation of it. When I say aesthetic, I mean talking about strict, like strictly the. Um, muscle um, striation and the direction variation that you're doing you already got everything cooking but I'm not trying to give an excuse to um, be out of um, formation and out of correct you know um, out of correct posture when you're doing it. that can get you to hurt yourself but I'm strong enough to not to um, compensate with my grip rather than my arm placement Drop set. <sighs> Woo. Down to forty. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this bench up a little bit. So I can raise them over my head like this. I call that raising a baby. Lift it up a little bit. I really want to get in between my traps right now. I'm behind my rear deltoids. 40 pounds, remember. And I'm gonna um, transition from um, variation that I'm doing it from out wide to um, up. I'm doing the wide ones first. And with the um the residual burn that I'm feeling, I'm going to do them up high to get the 
right here in between my um, delts, the high delts. I mean, high traps in the back, rear traps. Sometimes I get a little bit um, flustered on the, um, the anatomy terms of the muscle. But if you um, do what I'm doing, you'll figure out what I'm talking about. It's always going to one strike zone. y'all see actually what's contracting so I'm gonna come out the compression sure after this one right here. something in me. So I'm doing two more arm sets of these lateral raises. Keep everything cooking. And then I'm going to turn it, um, go into a, um, a military dumbbell press, but with the variation of bringing them around right here. And then I'm going into a shrug. Right now, um, today is a specialty day. I'm dealing with the, I'm dealing with the, um, out of the gym feeling like one body part hurts way more than anything else. I like to have a balance, a balanced residual um, fatigue, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do when you really got a, um, a goal to set for yourself and you, and you plan on accomplishing it. I'll pause y'all real quick. Alright y'all, we back. Let's 
go. Transition. Gonna be to the dip machine. Well, the press machine. I'm gonna do dips on it, and then I'm gonna transition into dumbbell. Not dips. Damn. I mean um, shrugs. <laughs> I'm gonna do on the press machine and do shrugs on the press machine, and then transition into the dumbbell press. Hold on. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are about to do shrugs now. Let's see what I got on there. I got a 45 and a 35 on there. Not my max capability, but I'm not trying to unflirt with the max right now. Right now I'm doing something that's moderately heavy. It can awaken the muscle within a set or two. And then transition into the 30 pound dumbbell. Seated. We're doing looking at y'all this time. I also want to look back at this video and see my striations as they protrude and um, contract to see um, where I'm actually getting more definition and where I'm getting more growth, muscle density, and also gauge my endurance. When I'm looking at my video, I can tell when I got tired just by how I see myself moving and in remembrance. Got real. I'm about to pause this. Oh, I'm gonna lace this beat too right here. Listen to this. Watch how this joint start. I'm gonna lace this beat. Do some um, erotic right here. Some hedonism in this. Get it? Yeah. Ah. Uh, you know I'm gonna tear that up, y'all. I'll holler at y'all in about a good 60, 40 to 60 seconds. All right. One. This one this way this time so I can see my striations on the um without isolating.
You know you're in the gym, right? You know you're in the gym. You know you're in the gym, you know you're in the gym with weights, right? Wow. <laughs> I can get much more mature than you. Mine's good to you. Just leave me alone. Pick your battles. <laughs> That's me, that's me going at my kid like her, her she trying to say, she, she trying to um ridicule me while I'm working out. One of my what one of my one of my new kids. What are you doing? Huh? None of your business. Nobody even paying you no mind. Oh my god, they're to see you. Funny story Asian this time. Get up! Get out my video, man. I'm gonna have to edit this out. Get out of here. <laughs> you shmoney dancing. Wow. <laughs> I can get much more mature than you. Mine's good, but you should leave me alone. Pick your battles. <laughs> That's me. That's me going at my kid. Like her, her she trying to like, she, she trying to um ridicule me while I'm working out. One of my what one of my one of my new kids. What are you doing? Huh? None of your business. Nobody even paying you no mind. Oh my god, they're paying to see you. Funny story, Asian this time. Get up! Get out my video, man. I'm gonna have to edit this out. Get out of here. <laughs> you shmoney dancing. Pause, get them out of here. <laughs> Alright, about to do my last set of both of these, but I'm not gonna um oversaturate this. I'm upload with um um the extended the extended recording of every um every transition I make. So pause this right here, I'll get back to y'all in a minute. Alright. Alright. Next transition. Ancline. Dumbbell press. Or military press, seated. Whichever one. But I'm doing it with dumbbells, so I'm going to do a different variation on the end of it. Oh, this is a light. Just wanted to beat something to be tearing up too right here. I'm gonna pause y'all right now. Get ready, let's go.
the same thing. So I ain't do this variation in a minute, but I'm trying to do numbers. your permission do I have your first I gotta say this on camera first do I have your permission to use your likeness on my feet on my, on my channel yeah just keep my ankles out just keep your ankles out alright <laughs> we'll keep it okay <laughs> alright boom get up love that variation right here because it gets like three to four different variations right here it's like so it's two different movements and it also gets four arm as you're controlling the weight down and twisting it. And once you get it right here, it's all upper um, pectoral and deltoid right here. And as you see, we got a slew of dumbbells right here at different weights. Because we drop setting, ah, short transitions. And after this, I'm gonna take my glutamine. You know, she, um, she's one of the um, ones um, I started buddy working out, tra I'm buddy training. And she started um, doing what I do, which is research a lot of um, nutrient methods of uh, um, your consumption within your workouts to actually strengthen your workouts, um, help you repair faster, and get you um, more um, energetic before workouts. The consistency is real. 
and it is born from within. And let that shit unlock you. Ah. Look at it. Alright. Now we're going into my, my drop set. My drop set. No bars tonight, but the next two songs, the next two songs that I'm uploading. I swear to God, I'm gonna blow your motherfucking lids over these next two joints. I'm making sure I know them joints like second nature, so it's not gonna be too easy. Like, I'm gonna play with these. One gonna be on some real nigga shit, and the other one gonna be on some flamboyant lyrical bravado. You get what I'm saying? Just to show them, like, I do it a little bit better than you. Audio visual. Audio visual life. Look at baby girl. Let's see, look, 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 see look, look. Each one teach one. Each one teach one. Each one teach one. I teach her. She teach somebody. That's what it's about. It ain't about, tra it ain't about training somebody for years on down the line. It's about getting them committed to something to the point where they start to branch out. They start to branch out themselves and seek their own workout. Because you could do some meathead workouts and try to force to like think with somebody else's arm and legs and get them to think that they're not moving as fast or progressing as fast because they ain't meeting your requirements. You gotta find your own workout within somebody giving you some basics that you can fall in love with. Then you start searching. It becomes an exploration to you. It starts becoming fun. I wanna see what my body can do. I don't live in comparison. I don't wanna look like this motherfucker. I don't like I ain't trying to look like the rock, I look like me, motherfucker. I'm trying to look like the rock. You trying to look like you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, let's go. And it felt kind of light. I didn't feel light, yeah? Huh? Oh. Drop down 40 to 60 pounds because I want to raise the baby. When we raise the baby, that means we bring it right here first and bring it up for the hole right here to get the, uh, the the deltoids is closer to the rear of your um the, um, the rear of your traps. something I'm still testing my limit. I should take it down to 30, but you know, you don't know what you can do unless you try it first. So we'll see what's up first. Let's see what I'm banging with. And then I'll be back with you because I got to go tend to my kids, okay? Be back in a little minute. Audio, visual, and I let me doing something right now. Dragging the heavy bag.
Bad rope. Bad rope now. After I take this back where it's supposed to be. It's bad rule time. See, on days like this, I like to mix superset and boot camp together to get a full burn, boy. Full burn. And it plays with my endurance, my stamina, a little bit. So my strength training and a little bit of just a little bit of cardio peppered in there. You know what I'm saying? Because cardio ain't my friend, really. <laughs> I dread cardio. Hey, Steph. What? You see the other variation I was doing with the bag, which is basically what you were doing right there? With the, I'm talking about the hop with it while you yeah. got it on your back. So you're talking on your back, so you're not going to hurt your back because you're keeping your back steady like this. You got to your squat just a little bit. She push, you know? So when you come down the other side, it's up, it's up a body. Take a couple steps back, push and pull with it, you know? Okay. Like, warns your back to you. It's, it's ultimately what you were doing right there in two different exercises, transitioning back to back. Right. But it feels okay. different because you got the dead weight instead of just resisting. That's resistance, it's dead weight. Right. All right. As soon as I got on it, though, I don't feel any, like, pain. I just feel pain. Like, I told you. See, it's, gra it's gradual. You don't have to hit, like, when you come back to the same muscle region, you don't have to hit it with the same weight or the same intensity. You just hit it with, you just hit it from another variation, but right. you gotta pay attention to what, how it feels though. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I didn't go to the quad machine because I'm sore right here too and my cast was killing me. So I was doing something that's the same area, but it works it in a different way. It tricks your mind out of being all tedious or tender on it and works it right out, stretches it at the same time. Right. Sit it. 